A new method for optocoupler testing, we discussed this in a previous video. The principle of the optocoupler is that it consists of a light emitting diode and a photosensitive diode or a photosensitive transistor combined in a single package. The LED at pins 1 and 2 emits light and after the photosensitive diode at pins 3 and 4 receives this light it conducts. According to the traditional method of testing with a multimeter we would apply a voltage of 1.2 to 1.5 volts to pins 1 and 2. This causes the LED to emit light and then we use a multimeter to check whether pins 3 and 4 are conducting. So what new testing methods are available now? The tool I have here is an optocoupler tester. It doesn't require you to remove the optocoupler from the circuit board. You can test it directly using this retractable probe. Just clip it onto the optocoupler and you can immediately tell whether it's good or bad. It can also test IGBT transistors, MOSFETs, TL431 and so on. As the saying goes, when your skills aren't enough, the right tool makes up for it. It's a rechargeable model, which means I don't need to keep it plugged in. I just need to turn on this switch and when the red light comes on, it means it's working. You can test directly without removing the component. There are windows opened here and here as well. Different areas are used to test different components. These six points on the top and then the six points in the middle are for testing. This is the instruction manual that comes with the TRIAC. Everything is explained above. It can test TL431, which is a pretty nice feature. There's an optocoupler on the circuit board, and there's a dot here indicating pin 1. There's also a dot here, so pin 1 aligns with pin 1. Clip it on, and if the green light comes on, it's good. How do you test components with 6 pins? This is pin 1, and our dot here is also pin 1. Align the corner with the hole, press it in by hand, and if the green light comes on, it's good. This means that the optocoupler is good. Besides testing optocouplers, it also has many other functions.